Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to see one of the solution which will enable us to upload any image into Dataverse table from Power App or from a SharePoint library. So that we are going to take care today. And you can see like I have just opened that make.power.apps.com and under that I have opened this Dataverse and under that tables. So I have just opened one of the table which contains just a couple of columns you can see. There is one name column and the other column is image. So it's of type image. If I just added this column, you would be able to see it's a type of image, data, data type image. So we are going to upload the image into this column using Power Apps and as well as using SharePoint library. So to start with, I'll just create one of the app, simple app to just upload one image. So I'll just name this as upload image to Dataverse and I'll just create it. So it's, it's a simple canvas app and I'll just zoom it out and under this I'll just add one data source as Dataverse. So I'll just try to find my image office image gallery. So it's a table which I just showed you that it's having name and office image as a block column image column and we are going to work with that so in canvas image now for the demo i'll just insert one media control that is add picture so this will allow me to browse picture and i'll just also add one button so that will actually enable or run one of the power automate in the background so that it can just pull out the image binary from here and then put that into dataverse table so this button I'll simply say upload and under this button I would be writing some on select one function which can call the power automate. So I'll just first of all I'll just go to actions and in that action I'll just click on power automate that will open up this panel for me where I can create a new flow. So I can just simply click on this create new flow. And I can just pick that from blank so I would not be using any template. I'm just creating from blank. And in this, I'll just if you if I just click on this, you can see like the trigger point is power apps because we are calling this power automate from power at button click. And then next step, I would be just try to search the add row. And this add row is a premium action and that would allow me to add any new row inside my Dataverse table. So under the table name, I'll be just pulling up that office image gallery. This is my table. And you can see like I have this name and if I click on advanced, then I, it can, it will open up the other columns. So you can see I have this office image, which is an image type of column. So we are going to upload the image over here. So I'll just bind up this power app to this power automate and how to do that i'll just click on this under this text area under the dynamic content it's saying ask in power app so the name i would provide from power app and under the office image i'll just again click on this and i'll click on see more if that is getting hidden for you then you can click on see more and ask in power app so both the things will be passing from our power app so that's why i've kept it like this and I'll just save it for now because before that I have to like transform, do a transformation of my image binary. So I'll just save it. I'll just first of all give it a name. Upload image to Dataverse. So I'll just save it and later on we'll just modify this flow again. I'm just closing that for now and now the next step would be I'll just select my upload button again and on select I'll be writing a function and that would be just calling this upload power automate so you can see like upload image to DB that's my power automate name and run is the command which will be run whenever I click on this button so what to pass over here so I'll be passing the control name so this name if you click on this tree view you'll get add media button and upload image so i'll just pass on this upload 
image dot image as in second parameter and before that I'll be having I need to pass on the name of the image so let's say like you are having one text box for passing the image name but right now I'll just say image demo and under this image I'll be passing it so prior to that like I just simply running it before that we have to transform this too so that we can get, get binary so I'll use the JSON function and the formatting would be include binary data so that we can have the binary data included with this so now I have this I'm just passing this image name and the image binary data whenever a person clicks on this upload image so I'll just do a test run and just click on this image and just try to add this sample image and click on upload and meanwhile I'll just open up my this MS flow so that I can just see like what output or my power automate has given or it ran or failed so it's failed as expected and the reason is if you see in the error it's saying cannot convert the literal the entire this data image PNG base 64 this entire stuff so what actually this uh, column of data verse is expecting is just binary not the other content types so I need to split the content type from our uh, this flow so to do that I'll just modify our power automate and we'll add up one compose action and in that compose action I'll be splitting the output whatever binary output we were getting by comma so I'll just say the office image and I'll just remove it under the expression I need to go actually so I'll use split function and from the dynamic content I'll use our image and this split I'll split that using comma and I'll just grab the pair as an index one so that the entire image I would get the binary data I would get and with that data so that data actually contains the double quotes so I need to re uh, replace the double quotes as well so what I will do I will just type replace and under single quotes I will be using double quotes and replace that with single quotes that means I am just emptying out that double quote and now I will click on ok and now I will use the output of this compose action while uploading this image content so I will use output and I will just do a save so now my flow is saving and let's go back to our this power app and I will just rerun that and I will try to run upload this image again click on the upload button now I will go to our flow to see whether it ran or not and we will just wait this one to run and you can see like I got the status as succeed and it has added the new row into our power automate data words so I'll refresh it just to see that whether we have the image demo or not so I'll just check so still loading you can see we have that image demo and in the image column data type column we got that image whatever we uploaded from that power app so that's how you can upload any image to Dataverse table as in data image column and also I would like to quickly talk about like how you can upload image from from any SharePoint document library to Dataverse same column so I'll just do a quick creation of that flow as well so that we can just have both the solutions in place if we wish to upload any image from document library instead of any power app so I'll just create one instant cloud flow and skip the trigger and over here I'll just say when file is created in a or modified in a folder and I'll just connect that to my existing SharePoint site and library so I'll just choose the share document library so over here in the next step we'll be just using the same add row in Dataverse and we'll again choose our this office image gallery not this one I'll just choose office image gallery 
and under this I'll, I'll just bind that with and under this let's say like let's say image demo library and under this office image I'll just use this file content and I'll just save it and first of all like it this will be failing for the first time and I'll show you why and then we'll just transform this uh, flow again so that they it can it can run successfully so I'll just upload one image from my this thing and I'll just choose out one of the image let's say this one and it should trigger our flow I'll just go back to our flow and just to look back that whether it ran or not so we are just waiting for that trigger to run all right so it ran and it failed as expected and I'll just want to show you the output that why it failed and then we'll rectify that an error occurred while validating input type so why it failed because we have to pass on the content of the file so if I just expand the trigger point you can see the file content is having this content type as image and the content is this thing so we need to use this content binary content instead of this file content so that we are going to extract we will be just pulling up this uh, dollar content parameter I would say the the attribute and would just update it so I'll just added the flow and under the new row I'll just go to file content now I'll just copy it and go to my expressions I'll paste it remove this and now I'll just put so I'll just add question mark and percentage content and this should go under this uh, single quotes content and this will just give us content so now whatever we are expecting only the pure binary content we are getting from this uh, trigger output and now when we just pre-try to run which the file which the which uh, we got just failed I'll resubmit it just to check whether our transformed staff able to upload that file or not so it uploaded it ran successfully now we only got this image binary content and if I'll go to my this data was table office image gallery and I should be able to see that uploaded file all right so we have this uploaded file image demo library so we got this working from any power app and from any trigger on when a file added or modified using a SharePoint document library. So I hope like it, uh, you may find it useful for your scenarios. If you do, please do like and if you have any questions, do drop your comments. Thanks for today.